best place to start is just going to ask you to kind of describe a little bit about your background, like where, where you've been before you got here and things like that. All right. So uh, I'm from Cornwall, Ontario, mm -hmm. Canada. Uh, I grew up there playing minor hockey. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get drafted by the Cornwall Colts, the junior eight team there. Mm -hmm. uh, played there four years before uh, coming to Clarkson. How familiar were you with Clarkson just in general? I mean, living nearby, did you ever come to games here when you were a kid? Or uh, like yeah, a few games growing up as a kid. And mm -hmm. then uh, knowing uh, Marley Quince, who I played with for two years in Cornwall, mm -hmm. came here. So I kind of followed him along the way and then kind of made my decision a little easier when mm -hmm. they asked. Yeah, I was curious about, you know, I know last year you were a captain for Cornwall's team. What's it like to kind of go from being like an experienced leader on a team to starting all over again? You know? uh, I mean, that's the way it goes. Yeah. You're always uh, king of the totem pole at one point, then yeah. back to the bottom. But uh, all the guys here are nice, and uh, yeah. it's a great adjustment to be here. Even, even though, like I said, you're a freshman here, but do you feel like you still have some of the same traits you had a year ago that can help you with uh, at times if you need to speak up about something kind of thing? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, we're all kind of a new family every year, so uh, it's nice how the guys bring you in and uh, just make you feel welcomed and so far so good. Obviously you guys haven't played a game yet but what have you noticed straight away just in the workouts you've been doing about the difference between this level and where you were last year? Uh, every day you have to push yourself yeah. every day you got to get better and uh, all the guys here push each other and uh, everyone's accountable for their actions mm -hmm. so uh, every day is 110 uh, percent and uh, we want to win a national title so uh, mm -hmm. that's the goal right from the start. I was curious too, how many guys in the, the freshman class did you play against last year in your league? Are there guys you're familiar with from other teams? Or uh, No, I okay. uh, haven't played with anyone. Just uh, Josh Dickinson and uh, Nicholas Latinovich uh, two years ago for the Junior A Challenge with Team Canada East, but oh, yeah. other than that, I'm not familiar with anyone. Oh, yeah. I guess the last thing I was asking was just in general, like, you know, what, do you, what did you like about Clarkson when you were picking schools? I, you mentioned some about earlier, but. You know, what, what is it about the school that you, you really like? Uh, just the atmosphere here. Mm -hmm. uh, every night, every game I came to anyway, just uh, the student section and the fans and then mm -hmm. the pep band, I mean, that's kind of a, a yeah. no-brainer to say yes to. So that's yeah. basically the reason why. I guess the best place to start, I was going to ask you just if you could tell people about your background before you got here, like where you've been playing and things and where you're from, stuff like that. Okay. Um, I'm from Georgetown, Ontario. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I played for the Georgetown Raiders for the past three years. Other than that, I played minor hockey with uh, the Hull Hurricanes and mm -hmm. stayed with those two teams. I was curious as far as Clarkson goes, did you have any connection to the school before you started being recruited by them? Like, did you ever know anybody that played here in the past or anything like that? Or Not, I didn't technically know him, but um, Nick Pierog is from Georgetown as well. Oh, yeah. Um, he grew up in the same high school, so mm -hmm. I did know who he was and I knew he was at Clarkson, so yeah. that kind of helped, but I didn't really know him. Was he somebody you saw play at all when you were younger, or did you like that? Yeah, actually, my uh, my dad coached his uh, high school hockey team. Oh, that's so, interesting. <laughs> so I did, I did watch him. Okay. What was it about when you picked schools? What did you like about Clarkson? Like, why did you decide to come here? Uh, it, it just seemed like a place that they actually cared about you as a person. Mm -hmm. Instead of, uh, it's, obviously, they're trying to make their hockey team the best it can be, but they care about you as a person first, and I, uh, I really took that okay. as the number one. I was curious too, as far as like, you know, you know, stuff to talk about yourself, but if you can, what's kind of your style of play, would you say, like, what kind of forward are you? Um, I just, I take pride in playing every possible situation. Mm -hmm. um, I like being on there in the first minute, set the tone, last minute to preserve a win or to tie it up or whatever mm -hmm. the situation is, I like to contribute. I was wondering, like, you haven't had the game yet, obviously, but what have you noticed just at these workouts and stuff? What's going to start you right away about, I mean, one of the differences between this level and where you were last year? It's just the strength and speed is just a couple levels up. Like it's, mm -hmm. it is it is very different, and um, I'm working towards it. So I think I'm ready, but it's gonna mm -hmm. be it's gonna be an adjustment for sure. One thing I was gonna ask all you guys too. I was curious: is there anybody in the freshman class that you you know, used to play against or anything like that? Or people, you know, people you knew before, but just not on your team. Um, well, Jack Chacon was my line mate, but yeah. um, I played with Grant Cooper yeah. on uh, Team Canada East. Um, Chris Jansen, we uh, we had a little bit of a rivalry oh, yeah. uh, between Georgetown and Trenton. We uh, yeah. were back-to-back -back OJHL final yeah. um, opponents, so uh, there's yeah. a little bit of a rivalry there, but yeah. we're teammates now, so it's it's good. What's that like, by the way, when you play? Because obviously that happens even like after you hear people from Clarkson and St. Lawrence might wind up on the same pro team or something. That, you know, is it kind of interesting now that you know this guy's on your side now? That, you know? 
Um, I mean, I, I like to leave it on the ice. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't really hold uh, rivalries yeah. off the ice, but um, there's still the little the jokes and the uh, oh, yeah. the stuff off the ice that um, we like to go at. And, uh, mm. I got the same guys with the other two guys. Uh, I was just wondering if you could tell people kind of like a little bit of background about you, like where you were last year and where, you know, where you're from, stuff like that. Yeah, I was in uh, Waterloo Blackhawks in the USHL. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from, I was born in, I, I'm raised in Jamison, Pennsylvania. Oh. I, li I live in Philly, Philly right now. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. What well, part of Pennsylvania is your hometown in? And is it down by Philadelphia area? Uh, yeah, Jamison's about 35 minutes from Philly. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not far. I was asking you guys too, did you have any connections at all with the school before you started being recruited by them? Like, did you ever know anybody that played for Clarkson or anything like that? Or? Yeah, we, um, well, Jake and Nico played for Tri-City mm -hmm. and they, uh, they beat us in the 2016 Clark Cup oh, yeah. playoff. Yeah, I remember that. So, um, I mean, I knew who they were, didn't know them personally, but oh, yeah. obviously I knew they were good Yeah, they beat us. <laughs> so, um. That's really it. I mean, I knew JC was in Sioux City. Yeah. I mean, I knew he was committed here. Um, so, what did you like about like when you were picking schools? What was it about this particular place that made you decide to come here? Well, I liked it because it was closer to home than I've been. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, <laughs> yeah. I was a hike from Philly. Um, also, I mean, I think the right pieces are here to do something yeah. special. So, you know, trying to add to that. Um, yeah. I'd ask some of the guys about, you know, if they'd ever played against, you know, people. So, obviously, you know, what's it like kind of being on the same team with those two guys now? Obviously, I would imagine in a series there gets to be moments where it gets, gets kind of intense. Is it kind of interesting now that these guys are your teammates after you, you played a series trying to beat them? A couple yeah, of yeah, definitely. I mean, glad Jake's on my team now because yeah. couldn't score against them. So, <laughs> so hopefully, yeah. yeah. I was wondering, too, if you could kind of describe, like, a little bit of your style of play. Like, what do you like to do? Which, you know, is, um, is yeah. i say more of a... Uh, I don't know if power forward is the right word because mm -hmm. I'm not like an overly big guy. Yeah. But um, more of a north south kind of guy. Get mm -hmm. to the net. I mean, most of my goals last year were, or, you know, around the net. I wasn't going through the teams. And, oh, yeah. You know, I was just getting to the net. And Is that a skill that a lot of people are underrated? Because you hear people say sometimes, well, yeah, they just stand by the net and score. But I mean, how tough is it to kind of keep position there and stuff like that? And not have a big, big guy shoving you out of the way. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's tough. I mean, you yeah. obviously have to work your way and stay in good position, but uh, yeah. I think a lot of it's just having the heart to sit in front of the net and sometimes get hacked and take a shot. Oh, yeah. You know, I've gotten yeah. shots went off me from the point and just went in the net. So, I mean, yeah. it's a little bit of luck, but you also have to have the heart to go in front of the net. Yeah, I think so.